and welcome back to Rama. So, I think it's time to finally find out, find out what happened in why they died, what happened. I really want to know. So, I think we will find out and I actually have to turn down the volume just a bit. It's still quite loud. So, we'll find out what happened and let's hope that we're going to get out of here alive, and that we're not going to die either. Because I think we might. This is Francesca Sabatini, reporting again from inside the giant extraterrestrial spaceship called Rama. Less than an hour ago, a second tragic astronaut death occurred. The American, Reggie Wilson, the other journalist on the Newton crew, was savagely killed. A few days ago, soon after dawn came to Rama, we first discovered these remarkable mechanical creatures scurrying across the open ground. Mission leader Dr. David Brown quickly determined to capture one for reverse engineering on Earth. A metal snare dropped from a helicopter successfully captured our target. However, as we lifted the crab biot into the air, a second unit attached its pinches to the first and was carried aloft as well. The second dangling crab eventually fell to the ground from a great height and appeared destroyed. I was completely unaware of the fearsome crab's attack until I heard Reggie Wilson shout a warning. As I began to run, Reggie heroically drove one of our rovers directly into the side of the biot. The alien crab completely shredded the rover and everything in it. What does Reggie Wilson's death mean for the Newton expedition? And what does it say about Rama? I talked first with astronaut scientist Shigeru Takagishi. I do not think, Francesca, that the creature intended to hurt astronaut Wilson. It is an intelligent machine, I agree, but in my opinion, not smart enough to distinguish between the rover and its driver. That crab biot believed that it was under attack by the rover and simply defended itself. Dr. Takagishi's point of view is not shared by astronaut Irina Turgenev. To me, there can be no doubt whatsoever. The crab biot deliberately chopped Reggie to bits. In my opinion, we should get out of this place immediately and then blow it to pieces. For IBC, this is Francesca Sabatini reporting from the interior of Rama. So, that was interesting. Okay. They wanted to get one of those crab biots. And to be honest, I think I have to agree with Tagagishi here. And I believe that this was not intentional. I don't think the crab biots wanted to kill him. I don't really think that would have happened. And um, that was probably just an accident. But knowing these kinds of people, I'm very sure that the mission will have to be cancelled now. And I really don't want that, to be honest. Um, I hope they're not actually blowing it up now. Please. Please don't. A message from Wakefield. Oh, the hear ye, hear Shakespeare. Hear ye, all ye Newton astronauts who fear that the end Go of ahead. the world is come. I can now confirm from our celestial senses that what we just experienced was some sort of major trajectory correction. Now, we aren't sure yet exactly what our Roman friends are trying to do, but it appears to be another standard maneuver like the one that took place during Borzo's operation. I'll let you know if and when either Misha Control or I figure out what the maneuver was for. Bye-bye for now. Okay, interesting. A lot of things happening right now. Rama just kind of had a course correction or something, I guess. Very interesting, but you know what I want to do? I want to... Brown. What is it? Greetings, everyone. I have just received confirmation from Earth that the quake we experienced not too long ago was, in reality, the Rama spacecraft performing a trajectory correction maneuver. This maneuver, according to the navigation specialists at Mission Control, has now placed our alien spaceship on an impact course with Earth. As you can imagine, this is causing considerable consternation at home. Because of the huge size and hyperbolic velocity of this spacecraft, it has been calculated that its impact would cause a greater cataclysm than the one caused by the comet that struck the Yucatan 65 million years ago, precipitating the mass extinction of the dinosaurs. An emergency meeting of the joint UCGISA Management Council is currently underway to determine what, if anything, can be done about Rama. 
I've been informed that the ISA director is recommending a variety of actions, one of which is abandonment of the mission. I'll let everyone know when I have any more definitive information. Meanwhile, gather as much scientific data and as many specimens as you possibly can. Goodbye for now. So, I'm really getting worried about that nuclear bomb upstairs. And this is the first thing I'm going to do now. I'm going to check out whether that's still inactive, because I'm scared. I'm really scared that somebody would have enabled this by now, because it seems this is the only purpose of it being here. Okay, it's still unarmed, and I'm really glad about that. But I'm fairly certain it will at some point be armed, and it will be because somebody died here. And knowing the US, <laughs> they're probably gonna like, oh, let's bomb it! But you know, well, we'll see how, how that works out. If they will use the nuclear bomb, or if they, if they won't. But no, actually, let's save it. Let's save it and call it bomb. I don't know why, it just let's call it bomb. Okay. I'm just glad it's not enabled yet. I wonder though, can we... Can we? There was this one place where we couldn't go before. Can we go there now? But before I do that, I actually want to f finish the puzzles we have, because we have a few puzzles here, if you remember. Uh, not here though. Uh, we still have a few puzzles to solve, and... Mathematics puzzles, which I still haven't solved yet, so I think I should do that. Now I looked some looked it up a bit because I I was a bit sick of not knowing what all these places are called, and I think this is Bangkok. So the museum here is Bangkok. Why that is, I can't tell you. It just is. So and. Um, Let's go ahead and try this out. So. Um, well, that's just three, so it's this one. I learned this, and you will see at the end of the video a few more details about this, but anyway, sorry. So, this should be... 10, I think, so... And... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... It's 11, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... So, 11 times 10, 110. 112. So this should be 112, which is... Um, this, yes. So this is eleven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So ninety-nine. Eleven times nine is ninety-nine, which should be, um, yeah, it's. This, okay, we've done that. So, it, 2 times 11 is 12, no, 22, 22, not 12, I don't know how I went to 22, and that should be, um, let's think. Um, 16, yes. Ah, there we go. What are you? Human icon. Okay, can I... Hmm. Okay, these these are going to be very difficult for me. And so bear with me here for just a second. I'm going to get... Uh, I'm going to get... Guess. I'll talk a bit more about this at the end of the video. Or, uh, no, you know what, I'll talk about it now. I think that's just better. And 
So this is a numbering system based on the number 16. And so it's a bit more difficult to calculate. So actually, let's see. So we have, so we have um, E. We have E plus um, plus one. So E plus one is equal to F. So that should be this one. So we 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 can do that. That's pretty simple. I can do that without a calculator. So we have five plus four. 5 plus 4, you know, which is 9, as you very, very well know. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, that's strange. Anyway, F plus 5. So, F is... This should be 20, I think. And then... Um, that is 1... What? Okay, yeah, see, it's not that not easy. It's, um... I have to get used to it. So that's D plus... Um... B, I think. D plus B, which is equal to... Um... 13, I think, plus... 11, I think. 13 plus 11. I think. So, I think this should be 24. What the hell is going on? I'm, str I'm confused. This is... This doesn't work the way I thought it would work. So, um... So this is 7 plus 5. Oh, I keep forgetting. I didn't look at this. Sorry, 7 minus 5. I'm an idiot. Oh. That's 2, of course. What the hell? So, 10 minus 4. So, this is A minus 4, which is 10 minus 4. Which should be 6, which is this one. So what am I doing wrong? So this is E, which is 14, plus uh, 1, which should be 15, which should be F. So we have 5 minus 4, which is equal to 1. Good, 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 good. So we have 20, 24, no, no, yeah, 24, 24 plus, um, 13. Now, this is going to be a bit more difficult, 24 plus 13, so, mm hmm so 24, that should be 36 plus 13 is 19, I, th I think, I think, I, I, that's a plus, yes, so 36 plus 19, I think, I think, and that should be 55 and decimal, which is equal to, I think, I don't know if I can have, take my time, it should be 37 in hexadecimal, that doesn't make any sense. We'll see. We'll see. Does it, I don't know if it actually works this way, but at least... Mm, damn it! <laughs> so, yeah, this is not easy at all. And, um, hmm. So we have 5, 8, so 85, 58, plus 58, plus 
A. A. Seven. So 58 plus A7. There should be 58 plus A7, right? I think so. So that I think that should be 88 plus 167. So 88 plus 167, I think, I think, is 255, which in hexadecimal is, I think, FF, if I remember correctly. So it should be. Thank goodness, I, I can't, I can actually do stuff. <laughs> um, so we have three uh, E, three E, I think. This is three E minus two um, six. No. Two C, yes. So three E minus two C. Three E minus two C. Which is sixty two minus two C forty four. So sixty two minus forty four, which is eighteen, and that is And that is 12. So, I hope this is going to be right. Yes! Is that it? Or do I need more? Okay, I think this is the last one. So, you have one... One B. Four... 8, 1B, 4, 8, plus 5, uh, 5, 3, 5, 3, 9, B. So, 1B, 4, 8, plus 5, 3, 9, B, I think. So, let's see. 1B48 is 6,984 plus plus 5,5,5,3,9B five, 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 which is 21,403 so, and that is equal to, so 6984, 6984 plus 21403 is 28,387. 28,387, okay. So, and that, let's see, so 28,387. 28,387 is 6E E3. So, 6E E3. 6E E3. Yes! That's it! We've done it! I'm glad! Okay! Wow! So, we've managed all the alien numbers! I'm quite surprised actually. So, there we are. There we are, we found another crystal. Okay, interesting. I wonder what we can do with that. 
Very interesting. Now I'm going to save, and I'm going to call it uh, Alien Math, <laughs> because it is. So, very intriguing. Wait. Okay, so we need to finish another puzzle here. Of course! <laughs> this, I mean, it, it was just, I knew that was going to be another puzzle. <laughs> it, 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 it was just, you know. Anyway, let's, let's see. Mm. Hmm, I have a lot of these, I think. I think it sh could it be this one? Um, I think it's, I think it's this one. And, um, this one's missing, so, let's see. Should be in the, m the middle here. As you can see, the little dot is always in three places. So I think it should be one in the middle row for, for, for starters. Could it be this one? I think it could be. I think it could be this one. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> not this one. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Maybe this one? Hmm, okay. It's none of those, apparently. That's just the same puzzle, is it? Uh, um, yeah, it is. It's not this one, okay. Hmm. I think it has to be in the middle. It can't be anything else. Yeah, but it's not this one, apparently. And it's not this one either, so I don't know. Hmm. Strange. There's none here, so maybe one of the dirty ones? No, I don't think there's one of the dirty ones either. Do I not have that one? I don't. I'm, I don't think I have it. I don't think I actually have this one yet. Okay. Well, good to know then. So we'll just leave this for now because I don't think I have the appropriate um, things for it. So we'll just go back upstairs or downstairs. I don't know if this goes up or down. Uh, I really don't. I mean, could be both, really. Hmm. I don't know. So what I need to take, uh, remember this one last time, I forgot this one. I'm just going to save a lot this time. Because I really can't be bothered dying again. An ancient art. Oh, well, not made dying, red but crystal. <laughs> I can't be bothered having to replay everything all the time because the game crashes. And um, yeah. Sharp scissor-like appendages are surrounding this biot's face. This biot has a set of different colored lenses around its head. I will designate it as a mantis biot, obviously capable of lifting heavy loads. I will name this a crane biot for our computer records. Hmm, that looks like a laser thing. Could I? Could I? Okay, worth a try. <laughs> so what about these guys? I can't put my laser in here, can I? Yeah. I don't think there's anything I can do here yet. 
don't think I can open this. Hmm. You know what I'm really interested in finding out is... Um, first of all, is there anything for me in here? There might be. No, but what I really want to find out is we have all these weird things. And I remember back in one of the places we went to, there was actually a camera pointing toward the wheel. I'm sorry, but for security reasons, you're not allowed to continue. So I'm still not allowed, not allowed to go here. Interesting. So if we go back to that wheel, if I, if I could remember where that is. And, um, yeah. If I go back to this, this wheel. That's not the wheel, that's the museum. Anyway, if I go back to the wheel, please, there's the wheel. I remember, I remember, I remember, there was something there, a camera. No, and this camera? Yeah, this spiel again. Uh, okay. So, oh, I knew this was going to happen again. Two. So the next one is going to be three. What direction is it going again? I think I should go this way. Two. Three. It might seem like I have an idea what's going on. I do some... So it's just a little bit, I think. So if I go here, I think I should catch it. If I understand the way it moves correctly. Which I probably don't. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Damn it, you stupid thing. Now the problem is I detect there we a go. doorway at the end of that spell. Wait, what? Wait a second. Is it releasing them? It it's releasing them, look. Oh no no, that was a bad idea. So they're actually coming out now. Why? Why did it release them? Why didn't it do this last time I was here? Why didn't this happen last time I was here? Why didn't this happen the last time I was here? But look up here. What? What is that? What, what is that? Could, could there be crystal? Or, what do you have to say? A small room is visible above the monitor. Wait, a room? A, s a small room is visible above the monitor. A room? Are you saying that's a room? Now, that's the most miniature room that I've ever seen. Can I do anything with that room? I don't think I can. Hmm. Hmm. Small room. A small room. Tiny room. So now that we've done this, and I know you're going to move away. But now that we've done this, I think. Hmm. And we've released those biots, those ones that looked quite dangerous, and I hope I didn't kill somebody. I really hope I didn't kill somebody. Hmm. Was that you? Did you make those noises?
No. How do I get to that strange, strange thing again? How, how did I get there again? Yeah, I keep forgetting how, how you get there. There you go. Where is that vile beast? He seems to not be at home. <laughs> what did that do, though? So, it released them, but what did that do? I don't know. I don't know what it did. I thought there might be some answers, but they're not there. Hmm. So those caterpillars there, still running about. Mm, I, I'm not allowed to go there. I know I'll die. So let's just save. Just save real quick. Just call a tiny room. I want to see what happens if I go here. Will, will it kill me? Yes. Yes, it will. Tut tut. I must say, I'm surprised to see you. I thought we made it absolutely clear that these spider biots are dangerous. Programmed to be an assassin. The Ramans deliberately created it to deal with equally nasty creatures. On guard. I wouldn't try that if I were you. First of all, you don't have a cane. And of course, you're not immortal. Arthur My C. Clarke is immortal. Stay away from all spider biots in Rama. Unless you have a cane, or maybe a crane. Oh, that was a tip! That was a good tip. I, I quite like that. Because we were told about the cranes. So I quite enjoy that. that that's a nice tip. Um... Thank you for the tip, Arthur C. Clarke. I very much enjoyed it. But you know what I don't enjoy? Not knowing where to go. I've seen we have all those things, all these things here, and I've absolutely no idea what to do with any of them. No idea. Absolutely no idea. There's nothing new in the fridge, is there? Nope. The refrigerator is used for storing temperature-sensitive samples, if any are found. Mm-hmm. So, I don't... I don't think there's anything... I mean, there's more stuff to do, but I just can't think of it. So, what, what do I do with this, for example? I mean... I didn't see a place you could put that. So, where haven't I been lately? Museum. What if I go back in here and. No, I didn't want to open that. Please close yourself. Thank you. So that's, that's the maps thing, but I don't know what that did. What did that do? Is it just showing me interesting, interesting rooms? Because this, this surely looks interesting. <gasps> Wait a second! Wait a second! Look at that! That's this! Look! That's the same thing! That's why I, sa I said I knew it from somewhere. This is where I knew it from! But... What do I do with it? So, I think I might un be able to unlock something with it? Wait, where is it? Where, where is it? Um, I'm sorry. What just happened? Where is my thing? What? Did I delete it? Did I just kind of de delete the... How did that happen? What did that... What? So, I think we need to restart the game. That's strange. Why did that happen? I'm really bad at finding my way back to places. What the f... Yeah, but how did that happen? Why did it just disappear? Why did it just disappear? I mean, see, it's back now. I don't know, That's that was weird. 
So, I, I think I might be able to unlock something with it, seeing as that's up here. But what do I unlock with it? That is the question of the day. Is there anything here that... Hmm... Hmm. You're back down, are you? Yes, thank you for taking care of that. <laughs> I very much appreciate it, you crane bot. So here yeah, you can see the, where we just were, that wheel, but I don't know what that room up here is supposed to do. I'm slightly confused. Hmm. Hmm. It looks to be a monitor with a switch below. It looks to be a monitor with a switch below it. Hmm. There is a ramp in that direction. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for telling me that. A crab biot display. Hmm, but there's no... I actually have an idea. Probably a stupid idea, but I have an idea. And uh, I want to try it out. So we were given a necklace from that bird thing. So... Let's go back to the museum because... There was a bird in here. What if we give the bird in the museum the necklace? Can we? It, it has one, but I don't know. Well, worth a try. Worth a try. Hmm. I do not know. Is that a story? I think that's a story. That's a, a, a bird story thing. I think it looks quite very interesting, I've got to say. Looks like Chinese. The characters look very Chinese, in my opinion. Interesting. What is this? What, what is this? Apparently, a piece of furniture. Ah. Hmm. We've already stolen that, so. Can I put this back? No. Gem, human thing, that. I don't know. I really don't know. And this is a biot box, so what do I do with this? I don't know. It's it's very strange, I gotta say. And I think now this will leave it here and we will try and find out what's going on again in the next episode. And I hope in the next episode, we'll be able to find out how to how to continue because right now I really have no idea. But it's getting starting to become a bit weird. You no know, people dying, us releasing biots that kill us. I think we're gonna have to enable that nuclear bomb sometime soon. Even though I don't want to do it, I think we might actually have to. So yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. Please no bomb and um yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time when we'll hopefully find out what's going on until then goodbye hello everybody and welcome to episode number five and you're probably wondering what the hell this is. Well, in the last episode, as you probably remember, we talked about a number system used by the aliens, which was 
hexadecimal, i.e. base 16. And I thought that was really cool. I, I really enjoyed the fact that they made their own number system up for the game. And I looked around the internet and I wanted to find if anybody made a font out of it. But as it seems, nobody had. So, <laughs> of course, I thought I'd make my own font. And this is it. So this is Alien Font. And I thought this was really cool. And um, so I used this program here called Inkscape. It's a bit, bit messy because i would never made a font before. I had to look up how to make a font, but it was a bit messy. This is one of those... Uh, one of my files and basically what I did it's quite quite well, not simple but not too difficult so what I did basically I, I took a screenshot of all the letters in game I imported them into this program and I converted them into a vector graphic and then I edited them a bit so that they looked a bit better so I did some editing around uh, on them, and then I turned them into a, a font. So that's what I did, because I thought I really wanted one. And as you can see, I also included the symbols for plus, the symbol for minus, and the symbol for equals. So you can do simple maths with this now. As you can see down here, we have 5 plus 5 equals A, and this is because it's hexadecimal. A in hexadecimal means 10. So 5 plus 5 equals 10, 5 plus 4 equals 9. And so we have now a an alien number system as a font. It, it's still not perfect. There's still a few things I kind of want kind of want to change. So this is still not the the final version, but I think it's still already better than nothing. So if you want to download this font, if you want to play around with alien numbers, with alien hexadecimal numbers, you can do so. There is a link in the description to install this font, and it's really easy to install. Just double click the file, and if you have Windows, it'll just pop a window and you'll see what happens. And if you want to use the font, it's called Rama Alien Font. It's a very creative name, I know, but that's the name. And yeah, uh, you can use it. It only has symbols for one, two, th uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, plus, minus, and equals. So all the other letters that you would use in this font, they're not going to be, that you won't find any other letters in this font, only those. And um, if you know how hexadecimal works, you can just easily write a number in hexadecimal, I don't know, A, 5, F, and instead of, and converting it is really easy by just changing the font. So that's what I did. And I hope you enjoy this. As I said, you can download the yeah the, the font in the description, and I hope you'll enjoy it. And we will be using this in the upcoming episode because we have to do some maths. And um, yes, I will maybe pop them some things up in the screen so that you can see how how this works. And yeah, we'll see you in the episode. Until then, goodbye.